nature and man a lopsided relationship a parasitic one why for all man claims of as unprecedented progress especially since the industrial revolution has been at the cost of inefficient extraction of the earth's finite resources believed by many to be self replenishing she has struggled to keep pace with our rate to produce to devour here and now we have a choice to delve deeper with the intention to secure rather than destroy science owes it to mother nature to generate enough from less exploitation it would be half witted to speak of sustainable development without speaking of the vast patches of green extremely vital to the planet's well-being forests need to be managed scientifically keeping in mind their multifarious utilities the ministry of environment forest and climate change through the indian council of forestry research and education direct study and interventions to implement strategy action plans recognizing forests as a national asset the heart of india comprising states of madhya pradesh maharashtra and chatisgarh has been blessed with the wealth of tracts of tropical forests these three states contain work of the and support many important timber trees and non forest products tropical forest research institute has been synergistically working to develop sustainable eco ecological management biodiversity conservation and community development through forestry research in timber trees and non forest products characterized by the ability to support diversity of life forms and livelihoods for local communities alike to sustain and enhance conditions for these ecosystems to thrive and to overcome various other forestry problems peculiar to the region the tropical forest research institute was set up as a regional forest research center in jabalpur in 1973 later to become a full-fledged research institute in 1988 with a satellite center at chindwara as one of the nine such institutes established across the country under the ICFRE there has been no looking back since this is the story of TFRI to achieve long term ecological stability sustainable development and economic security through conservation and scientific management of forest ecosystems the institute stands on 10 pillars of knowledge covering all essential forestry areas biodiversity and ecological assessments conservation and genetic improvement silviculture agroforestry and management cultivation harvest and post harvest techniques technical assistance to stakeholders forest research and extension research and knowledge management appropriate technologies to end users scientific advice on matters of nation and regional forestry issues our objectives of the council these mandates are brought into effect by the institute by organizing itself broadly into five divisions genetics and tree improvement silviculture forest management and agroforestry forest protection forest ecology and climate change forest extension all of which try to put their best foot forward in a coordinated manner to help TFRI 
implement its mandate of making available up-to-date scientific solutions to the forestry sector. What wonders emerge when science nurtures? Take a sneak peek. To speed up what nature did with time, research is undertaken on genetic improvement of forestry species. Encompassing conservation of forest genetic resources, biotechnology and propagation of various important tree species like teak, rosewood, khamer, mahua, chironji, so as to optimize the productivity of plant species and forests. Record surplus trees of commercially important timber tree species are maintained for conservation purposes. Biotechnological interventions like molecular marker assisted evaluation of germplasm have been worked out for future performance of teak, maida char and salai. Tissue culture protocols have been developed for plants like Sarpagandha and Giloy so that higher chemical content can be accessed for medicinal use. Vegetative propagation and distribution of bamboos for doubling farmers income and value addition is being carried out in a remarkable way. Nature is a living body like us. There is a need to understand the challenges of vitalizing maladies. Plants are affected by pathogens and pests which destruct seeds, plants and timber. Disease causing pathogens are hence identified and managed in an eco-friendly, cost effective and non-hazardous manner as far as possible. TFRI Trichoca technology developed by the institute to control teak defoliator and teak skeletonizer is one such feat accomplished. Apart from this, TFRI also provides need-based solutions to various stakeholders to manage pests and pathogens in nurseries, plantations and natural forests. Biofertilizers using various consortia of beneficial microbes are being tested to boost the growth of tree species. The division also has a collection of preserved fungal specimens and a herbarium of infected plant parts to serve as reference material to researchers. The insect repository is housing specimens of 780 insect species which has been recognized by the National Biodiversity Authority. Looking at all those insects in a spectrum of hues and forms surely makes you marvel creation. A feather in its cap, TFRI, as the lead institution, has played a major role in scientific survey and proposal preparation for Achanakmar and Amarkantak Biosphere Reserve, which ushered the reserve's declaration as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There is no denying of the scientific finding that plants have a choice of natural selection of the soil and environment. To intensify profitability based on this knowledge, silviculture or the science of growing forest trees is employed by the institute for collaborative management of forests between the forest department and local folk. Modern nurseries are developed using the latest planting techniques, seed technology and plantation trials of various commercially important trees as well as medicinal species. The institute lays down standards for sustainable harvesting and cultivation, quality assessment of medicinal plants 
from different agroclimatic regions. Processing and value addition of non-wood forest products including bamboo. HC2 conservation has been arranged for many rare, endangered and threatened species. Aromatic plants, herbs like bursera, bach, lemongrass, nagarmotha are used to extract essential oils for the perfume industry. Agroforestry models are promoted using different combinations like teak and turmeric, bamboo with wheat and urad, malina with ashwagandha and sarpagandha, guava with arhar and bijasal etc. and merging other crop and tree species. Rare and endangered herbs like kalihari are conserved through such an agroforestry model. Some of these models like cultivation of lac on suitable host plants help generate additional income for tribal women's self-help groups whose capacity is built to produce lac bangles for instance. Similarly, trainings and field demonstrations to the farmers on bamboo cultivation and harvesting and processing has been a regular feature. Soil testing facility is also provided to the stakeholders. Multi-party consortium including wood-based industry, farmers and financial institutions was also launched. On-site demonstration of sustainable harvesting and collection of NTFPs for the NTFP gatherers has been undertaken since long. TFR has a uh, dedicated exchange region which transfers the technology developed by TFRI on major timber tree species and non forest products. We offer training programs to the stakeholders in the field of how to how to how to harvest sustainably the non timber forest products and how to process them. And, uh, and also we advise them for market linkages where they can sell their uh, products and how to sell their products. Similarly, we offer training programs under the Green Skill Development Program for in bamboo crops, in lac cultivation, agroforestry and other related uh, um, allied activities so that the hands-on training can be imparted to the stakeholders so that they can develop their own uh, uh, business, small business units for uh, improving their livelihood support and getting maximum income from the, their products. The severity of the effects due to rising temperature of the earth is observable to the naked eye. And yet, there is denial to recognize and act by profit-driven economies. The institute studies the impacts of climate change to reach at better mitigation and adaptation measures. It especially recognizes the role played by tropical forests in doing so in the form of sequestration of carbon from the atmosphere. Studies are conducted on forest ecosystems, reclamation of mine overburden, waterlogged areas, and eco-restoration of wastelands and degraded forests, including identification of suitable tree species for restoration of such stress sites. To tackle environment pollution, collaborative projects are undertaken with thermal power plants, industries and PSUs focusing on problems such as fly ash management. The efficacy of research advancement depends not just on new discoveries, but also on who benefits from such efforts. Extension services then serve as a bridge between institute and the outside world 
that enjoys and incorporates into production practices technologies developed at the institute technologies are extended through organization of seminars exhibitions and farmers fairs etc as well as participation therein when organized by other stakeholders update research results are also demonstrated in demonstration villages and the same is shared with stakeholders through regular trainings in van vigyan kendras and elsewhere in jurisdictional states so the tropical forest is a key so through all um, our uh, three van vigyan kendras located in jabalpur um, jalna and raipur we have been extending training programs and hands on training to the forest department personnel and also other stakeholders in their um, in extending the uh, research outputs so that they will reach the uh, field for the benefit of uh, stakeholders to improve their livelihoods printed updated extension material in local languages is also provided to stakeholders for future reference to inculcate environmental consciousness among citizens or general public a museum come interpretation center has been established a collection of postage tickets issued worldwide on forestry related issues is showcased a library well equipped with facilities of reading and rich reading material on themes of forestry is also available a phd program is offered under fri deemed to be university where scientists given the vast experience in the fields of forestry and allied subjects are able to competently guide aspirants so as to create a cadre of future professionals interested in driving the sector to new heights moreover the institute opens its doors to school students under the prakriti program to visit and learn tfri is a typical small pocket of tropical dry deciduous forest regarding 86 tree species of 38 families the institute's picturesque nurseries botanical garden and avian diversity which includes a total of 140 bird species truly appear to make the serene 109 hectare campus located 10 km southeast of jabalpur a shangrila forest departments state governments and industries are also given environmental advice on several aspects third party monitoring of plantations environmental audits of coal mines wildlife conservation plans for coal mines clonal fidelity testing services plantation activity of timber species soil sample analysis to the stakeholders estimation of active ingredients of ntfps agroforestry models among others The institute recently actively pioneered a project on implementation of forestry interventions in riverscape for the rejuvenation of River Narmada, a water body of great importance to the region. TFRI has been instrumental in fulfilling objectives it was entrusted with upon its foundation. It has apparently been able to cause positive change in the physical landscape of the area, as well as. touched lives as the country gears up to face the current environmental crisis head on the institute promises to align itself with india's priorities and international commitments for a more environmentally stable tomorrow come join us in this journey to fight greater battles for peaceful coexistence for now is when history is being written